I see your shadow. Which makes no sense, really. Get it. Get him. Gotta dig him. Gotta dig it. Stop moving. Get him. Ow. Douchebag. Oh man, I can't believe I waited until this far into the game to think of calling them douchebugs. <laughs> but these are the last of the douchebugs. Alright, now how to get to the other side over there. Huh. Keep going up, maybe? Wait a minute, this... You can get to here from the bottom part? That's lame. I thought that I had to do all this roundabout way of getting here. Damn it. Only after you do the hard things do you learn the shortcuts. Yep. <coughs> Don't be muddy. Be a heart piece. God damn you. Well, start over. That reminds me. We still haven't picked up any of the rupees for this playthrough, so it's going to stop us when that happens. Yeah. That's really annoying. Still, considering, like, there's very little annoying parts in this game. Like, there's a lot of good for its little annoying bits. Like, how much time do you really spend climbing stuff? Like, climbing those lines. Very often, but when you do, it's like, oh my god. They had a little ramp, so this part's wheelchair accessible. All right. Okay. I feel like we're getting there. Uh, that way goes to the throne room. Let's try this way first. This seems like a way. Alright. We are making it. There's gotta be a bug around here, and I'm gonna kick its ass! Get it! Come here, douche bug! Your soul is mine! So after this one, there's still going to be two left. Yes. Minda, you want to, you know, want to start no. laughing? Is there a different way to go, like the other way? The left? Yeah, upstairs. Where is this? I think this is just a different way to get up there. Or not. This Someday. looks like a job for bomb arrows. Someday it's a different way. Damn it. Oh well, back to the drawing board. That was convenient. I could have heard otherwise. If I was like a foot off in either direction, that would have hurt like a bitch. I still think that Midna's my favorite helper critter from Zelda games. I mean, like, everybody hates Navi, the sound of her just drives me into a rage. Fee could have been cool, yeah. but wasn't. Especially considering, like, the we definitely had capabilities to make her cool and high tech. Yeah. Minna's okay. I, I still find her annoying, though. I don't know. I would like that she's kind of like a little kid. And the fact that teleport, like, that she's also the warp system. Yeah. I don't know. It's totally doable to make a little helper person not be annoying. But I think one of the biggest ways is they need to learn the thing of every time they talk to you, it doesn't mean that you have to stop and do a cutscene. You can have them talk to you while you walk. 
that would make a huge difference for me. Even for like Navi. Navi wouldn't have been as annoying if he didn't have to stop and listen to her every fucking time. There we go. I am now king. Why is he trying to smell his queen? I'm gonna go. I'm... You guys now have democracy. I don't want to have people who sniff me for worship. That person dead? Yep. That person dead. Super Are they dead. The rock's still down there. All right. Or is it's the bug just for her? I think it's on the wall or something. Use your head. Aha! I found you, you little bastard. <coughs> First concussion of the day. You want to get down from there? Yeah, it did. Aha! Alright, so there's two left. And that is... Over here. There we go. Now we can be on our way. See you later, fuckers. We've got... We're almost finished our douchebug collection. Alright. Woohoo! part of this game. Yeah. I mean, it is a good way of showing... Oh, like, around... Showing your way around some environments, but we've already been here. Yeah. The scent thing is also a good way of showing you around the environment. Yeah, except for while you're following the scent, you can't actually, like, see anything. Yeah. I guess it just fills in spots on the map. It's like, look how little of it's filled in since I went straight there. Yeah. Okay, so they said go this way. Oh shit. Alright, who lit those things? I was just wondering the same thing. Actually, that reminds me of a part on, uh, on uh, Far Cry. Where, like, you have the main bad guy who's actually on the cover of the box art because you're not important. Uh-huh. And so he actually calls you on your radio because he does this thing to annoy you. And it's like, you know what I've been wondering? Who lights all of these fucking candles every day? It's like, part of me just wants to hire a guy to go and blow them out. <laughs> and it's like, you know what? No, I got a better idea. He's just like, Gary! Candles are now illegal! <laughs> Yes, all of them. Yeah, get on it. <laughs> and then that it just... sounds like something Handsome Jack would do. He's pretty much a Handsome Jack kind of character, is what he I is. I love Handsome Jack. He like totally made that game for me. You see, that's what it takes though to have like a good villain is just have it be someone who keeps in touch with you. Yeah, and I is like being an asshole. In um. In, like, the Arkham series, the Joker totally, like, talks to you. I think it's Arkham City, where he, like, gives you a cell phone or something so he can leave you messages. Yeah, I like that. But, again, the Handsome Jack thing is even better because when he talks to you, it doesn't stop the action. Alright, all saved and ready to go. Go kill all the things. You're a thing. Hey. Oh, you don't mean me. Yes. I was about to say, you traitorous <laughs> motherfucker! Curse your sediment inevitable betrayal. Ah, oh, shit. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was really worried that that wasn't going to kick in and that I'd just be stuck. That happened once. We did just save this, that was good. Yeah. But remember that time when we got trapped because no bad guys popped in? Yeah. They're on a coffee break. One, two, three! Damn! Murder machine! And now warping is going to be faster than ever before. Part of me wants to go, like, while I'm still in wolf form, just... Teleport back down to the first town just to fuck with people again. 
<laughs> but I... I'd hate them more than that would amuse me. That's where I am with my life. <laughs> it would annoy me more to fuck with you than it would just to just be rid of you. Sort of like with Gladys at the end of Portal 2. Yeah. Whoa, wrong road. I do like the fact that the map just like has parts that appear once you get into the range, like without having to go into a new room. One of these days they're going to have to make bars in Zelda games that have actual booze instead of like milk. Mm -hmm. Like what is this shit? That's meat. This is a meat bar. That could be wine there. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's just barbecue sauce. Alright. I am now working the bar. Aww. Are you still alive? <laughs> well, alive as they get, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think that bug's somewhere outside, actually. I get distracted. Yep. <laughs> Alright, girl farts just emanating from that place. She's just been baking brownies in there. <laughs> also, the fact that that trail completely ends there and you see nothing else come out of it or branch off means that she's probably been in there this entire time. Yep. <laughs> Oh shit! Hey, one just spawned into existence. That's sort of a weird way of doing things. It's like, yeah, we'll leave one out. Hopefully, you didn't come to here beforehand, or like, hopefully, this is the last one you get. Whoa! Hey, a little kid Goron. Why is he wearing a diaper? But is bipedal incapable of full speech? Ooh, castle! Huh. You know, it's really hard for me to picture Agatha being a name that doesn't belong to an old lady. Like, Agathas are bored at 60. <laughs> But I guess that's just how generations go, you know? Yeah. And before, it's like everyone thought that Agatha and, like, Gerald or whatever were little kid names. Yeah, it's just whatever name was popular 60 years ago. It makes me think of old ladies. Someday Jessica will be an old lady name. Someday Bella is going to be an old lady name if any of them survive that long. <laughs> Alright. And on with the show! I gotta take a pit stop to kill a thing, though. Like, I, I can't go too long without fighting something. It's just the way I am. Also, stealing organs, that's a thing. I don't know if I talked about this on the recording, but there's this video that Dorkly had where it's like, what if Zelda tried to have her own adventure? And so she finds Ganondorf, but like he doesn't want to kidnap her or anything, and it's just like... Like, what, you don't want to try to kidnap me? It's like, why would I want to do that? Think about this. I'm the first male Gerudo born in a hundred years! Somebody get me a Zora tunic, because I am drowning in pussy! <laughs> and meanwhile, I was like, okay, well then who's going to be the bad guy? It's like, okay, well think about this. Who's the quiet sociopath we know who breaks into people's houses and is known for harvesting organs? <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. 